My name is Mark Wilson, and I'm a staff photographer for Getty Images. I'm also a NASA history buff, so I was pleased when I was asked to help cover a shuttle launch in 2005. The launch was the return to space launch of the Discovery after the two-year grounding due to the Columbia disaster in 2003. Since then, I've covered seven launches. Some of our best pictures come from remote cameras we set up the day before the launch. In Florida, you never know if it's going to rain, so we house the remote cameras in boxes with the front door open. We use timers that fire the camera once they start hearing the loud noise of the rocket engines. My favorite picture is from a remote camera that I aim directly at the rocket engines. When I set the camera up the day before the launch, the shuttle was still encapsulated in its protective rotating steel structure, so I had to guess on where to aim and focus my lens to get the tight shot I was looking for. The Kennedy Space Center is part of the Merritt Island Wildlife Preserve, so it's not unusual to see an alligator or wild boar at times. Most of the wildlife preserve remains untouched and is pretty much the same way the Indians saw it when they roamed Florida. I always enjoy watching NASA employees take a break from their jobs to come cheer on the astronauts as they walk out of the same building as John Glenn and the Apollo astronauts did back in the 60s. Night launches are my favorite to cover. The colors are more intense and you really see how powerful the rocket engines that propel the shuttle into space are. Two, one, booster ignition, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, preparing our home in space for a larger international family. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour roll program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Commander Chris Ferguson confirming Endeavour is rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Feet a thousand miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange distance six and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already.